Guess what time it is, guys? It's time for another Mortal Kombat Legends movie. Yes, Mortal Kombat Legends 4 will be known as Mortal Kombat Legends Cage Match. The news just came out today, an exclusive article from IGN. Mortal Kombat Legends Cage Match exclusive, full voice cast and plot revealed. IGN can exclusively reveal the full voice cast plot synopsis and exclusive first look photo from Mortal Kombat Legends Cage Match, the sequel to 2020's Mortal Kombat Legends Scorpion's Revenge, Battle of the Realms, and Snowblind. Based on the video game created by Ed Boon and John Tobias, the full length feature animated film crew includes director Ethan Spaulding and supervi supervising pro uh, producer Rick Morales. Jeremy Adams, who wrote the previous three films, is back as the screenwriter. So the same crew that made all the Legends movies in the past, all three of them, is back for the fourth one, as well as Sam Register and Ed Boon as producers, executive producers. And here's our first look at Johnny Cage in Mortal Kombat Legends Cage Match. This hair is definitely a choice. I am definitely getting a 1980s vibe from this. Definitely getting a Mortal Kombat Vice City vibe from this. Not really the, the hairstyle and look with the earrings that I would expect from Johnny Cage, but I'm assuming this is going to be like an even younger Johnny Cage maybe? Or like some sort of like first up and coming actor or something like that? I, I don't know. Just... It's a very different look, not something that I would expect, but not something that I really hate. I actually, you know what, put some, put some glasses on him, sunglasses on him, and he, he looks pretty good. He looks pretty good. Anyways, uh, Joel McHale returns as the voice of Johnny Cage, while, uh, while, while Dirty Dancing star Jennifer Grey voices herself in the feature-length animated film. The cast also includes the late Gilbert Gottfried. Gilbert Gottfried will be in a Mortal Kombat movie. Rest in peace, the great man, Gilbert Gottfried. Um, I have no idea if he has any other projects coming up that he did voice for or live action for, uh, but this might be his final role, and his final role is in a Mortal Kombat movie. We are... We are in a good timeline. I feel like more and more we actually might be in a good timeline. Anyways, let's take out let's take a look at the full voice cast. Joel McHale is back as Johnny Cage, Jennifer Grey as herself, as we've known, Dunson Brown as Chuck Golden, that's probably gonna be an original character. Gray Delisle as Kia. Damn, we're going in some deep cuts. Kia from the Nether Realm. We have we, she's just an NPC. She's going to be a full character in this movie. Uh, Robin Atkin Dows, Downs excuse me, is back as Shinnok. He was Shinnok in Battle of the Realms, and it looks like he will be the main villain of this movie. It's going to be a Johnny Cage versus Shinnok movie, and Shinnok will once again, again, be voiced by the same person who voiced them in Battle of the Realms. Uh, Zara Fazl as Jataka. That's interesting as well. So Jataka will be joining Kia. But you'll notice here, no Serena. Well, we'll, 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 we'll get to that later. Uh, David Dobley. Oh, is, uh, Gilbert Gottfried is going to be voicing an original character called David Dobley. Uh, Kelly Hu will be Ashra. So Ashra is coming back and she's going to be in an animated movie. Ashra will be in an animated movie. I'm excited for that. Um, Phil Lamar as uh, Brian Jones. Matthew Mercer as director or bully. So just some random director. Uh, Dave B. Mitchell is back as Raiden. One of the best Raidens we have ever got is through Dave B. Mitchell's Raiden in the Mortal Kombat Legends movie. And he is back for Mortal Kombat Legends Cage Match. Super excited for that. And then the most exciting of all, Armin Taylor as Master Boyd. Woo! Master Boyd from the 1995 movie will be in this movie. It makes total sense, but... God damn, it's like Master Boyd is just canon at this point. Anyways, according to the official plot synopsis, Mortal Kombat Legends Cage Match is a period piece set in both, Holly both Hollywood and the Netherrealm. Neon lights, suits with shoulder pads, jumping from explosions in slow motion. In 1980s Hollywood, action star Johnny Cage, Joel McHale, is looking to become an A-list actor. So I think it is going to become an, I think it's going to be an up and coming uh, Johnny Cage story. So this looks like he's like in his early 20s or maybe mid 20s, something like that. But it's definitely an up and coming actor, Johnny Cage. But when his co-star, Jennifer Grey, goes missing, Jennifer Grey is just going to be canon in Mortal Kombat 
uh, universe, uh, goes missing from set, Johnny Cage finds himself, finds himself thrust into a world filled with shadows, danger, and deceit. As he embarks on a bloody journey, Johnny Cage quickly discovers the City of Angels has more than a few devils in its midst. He faces off against a sinister secret society, plotting a nefarious scheme, but the brutal fight against the bloodthirsty warriors of the Netherrealm is just the beginning. Can Johnny, alongside other Mortal Kombat legends or other combat legends, save humanity and, more importantly, his career? So. It looks like we will be getting a Johnny Cage versus the Brotherhood of Shadow movie with Shinnok as the main villain. So the vibe I'm getting from this is that it's going to be like the Brotherhood of Shadow is like some sort of cult in Hollywood and Johnny Cage has to fight against them. It's definitely a choice. It's definitely a very interesting plot point to do a Mortal Kombat movie for. Um, but you know what? I haven't been disappointed with any of the Legends movies. I will say that this art style does look a little bit different, so I'm going to be very curious to see what more we can get or what it looks like more when we get a trailer. So I, that that looks exciting. This art style looks very, very exciting to me right, right now. But uh, yeah, I haven't really been disappointed with any of the Legends movies. The Legends movies, as you guys have known, I am a huge fan of. I shill for them all, uh, like as much as I possibly can, uh, because I, they're just great. They're some of the they're some of the most fun movies to watch when it comes to Mortal Kombat, and especially since we need, a, I, I feel like we need a lot more animated Mortal Kombat projects. A lot more. We need like a Mortal Kombat TV show. I will get everything that I possibly can. And it looks like the Legends movies always give me them. And uh, it looks like Mortal Kombat Legends Cage Match is going to be something that I am just... Another thing for me to get excited for. Uh, very interested to see how this plot plays out. I will say it's a little bit weird that you're going to do Kia and Jataka, but you're not going to do Serena. Instead, it looks like Ashra is taking her place. Ashra... I, I would assume, like, they're going to, like, Ashra and Serena's characters are very, very similar to each other. So, I'm wondering, I'm wonder, I was going to say, like, I'm wondering if they're just going to give Ashra's story to Serena. But Serena's story minus Bihan is almost the same as Ashra's. There's a lot of similarities between the two, so I wouldn't really be mad about that. The only thing that I'm really, like, kind of, like, not mad, but I'm just very puzzled by is having... Serena be absent from this movie, especially if you're going to have Kia and Jataka in there. If you have Kia and Jataka in something Mortal Kombat related, you always have Serena. Like, you just don't not have Serena. And the fact that we don't have Serena in here is definitely very odd. I, I that's, that's a little bit weird to me. But, I mean, having Ashra, one of my, my most re requested female character for Mortal Kombat 1, is going to be in a Mortal Kombat animated movie. I'm gonna take it. Like, that's just think about that, guys. Kia and Tataka plus Ashra is going to be in a fucking movie. <laughs> it's gonna be in a movie, an animated movie, but still in a movie. That's super awesome to me, and I will. I'm gonna take it. I'll take anything that I can. Again, like these le all, with all these Legends movies, I'm gonna take them because I enjoy them and they're great. They're fun, and I can't wait to see what Mortal Kombat Legends Cage Match has to offer um but anyways guys let me know what you guys think this is something that just dropped right now i was about to go to the gym too and then this dropped and i was like oh never mind drive back home and uh, make a video but uh yeah anyways guys let me know what you guys think if you enjoyed this video make sure you drop a big thumbs up and subscribe for all things mortal Kombat. i will see you all in the next video